we are ta talking about the big objects um, you have to create big objects to um, store large data you can create up to uh, 10 big objects for org there are some limitation on that the fields for big objects are lookup relationship date time email number font text long text url so they are limited there are standard big objects and or custom big object um uh, so let's create a big objects you go to a quick find setup quick find box uh type big objects so it is under data you come here you create a click new on uh, object test so plural is big objects this is a object name we it defaults to the uh, label I don't want to change the API name. You can add the description. Test. Um, you have context sensitive help settings. Open a standard salesforce.com help and training window. So I, uh, the second one is open the uh, window using a visual force page. So no, I, we, I go for standard salesforce.com and training window. It is in development, right? Deployment status in, in development right now here. I save it. So once you create a big object, so you have out of the box standard fields, your name, um, there's no standard fields here. You have to create custom fields let's say email email so I don't want to make it required so I'm creating a custom field called emails let's get the defaults of fee level security at save and new we add a new uh, an another new custom fields you can see there are few options than the um, other custom uh, object fields uh, look up date time email number phone text long text URL so text I uh, label at my name 50 in the length get the out of the box standards security and then save it so I created two custom fields for this big object so we have a big object created you can edit it can save it when you come back to the custom um, the uh, uh, test uh, big object you can see a warning message to complete the big object setup define a custom index before you can define a custom index create at least one required custom field um, so I go to uh, the my name, I make it as required as save here.
So you are back to the definition of the big object. You have an index section here. You, you have to create at least one index in order to make the big objects workable. Um, index fails. Uh, my name is my index. Index position. I use the my name as the index field. Index direction ascending or descending. You can uh, use, but click save here. Go back to the. Now you can see it is not in the um, development. It it can be used here. So you can deploy the big objects now click edit here you have two options earlier you saw in development for deployment status you click deploy it and save it so it's ready to be used it is the deployment status is deployed for this big object you can use it 